Hi, this is Akilex channel, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these rings. Only we're not going to use beads, we're just going to use rubber bands. I'll tell you about that more later. So, first you're going to put a rubber band like this. And make sure that the arrow is pointing away from you. Then you're going to put a rubber band like this. One peg should be in between them. And then you're just going to make a circle around. Like, what do you do? do And then, when you're done with doing that full circle, you're just going to grab one more black rubber band, or main colored rubber band, and, yeah, place it right on these two pegs. You're going to have some colors, too, some more colorful colors than just main. So, yeah. Oh, first of all, now you're going to grab this and loop it around three times. One, two, three. Or more, or less. However, however much you want to. And then just grab this and slide it on over. And over. There. So then, this is like equivalent to your, um, bead. And then you're just gonna place it over onto here. Like that. This is, this is of course a design for if you don't have beads that you can make still a cool flower only that you're using yeah rubber bands instead of beads but if you have beads I'd suggest doing the other one This isn't a very hard design, it just might be some parts that are harder than others. But all in all, it's not like super duper extremely hard. I'd say that the looming is one of the most hardest parts. But, one thing that you absolutely can't forget is to put the second one, the second black rubber band there, or else your whole thing ruins, basically. Or, well, I mean, it wouldn't turn out that bad, I guess, but, you just can't forget it. This, this ring will take longer than the other one because you always have to keep on looping it. Or, well, making the rubber band. Yeah, doing the rubber band thing. You can, of course, also pause the video and just catch up or go ahead. One, two, three. There we 
There we go. And the last rubber band that you have to put on is of course our cap band. So push this down. You should know if you've made the starburst bracelet before that you'll need a cap band on top of the star thing. So one, two, three times around. It's like this and then you can pull it. If you can't if your band isn't like that stretchy or anything or that or big enough for stuff. You can just um, loop it around twice, but three times makes it stronger and tighter. And you can't really see it, which is good. You can't really see it anyway, so. Yeah, let's get started with the looping. So first turn it around, like you normally do. And then stick your hook in the middle. And first take out the purple band, since that was the last one that we put on, and it's at the very top. And then stick your, your hook in, take out this blue band, put it over. Here comes the green one, have to loop it backwards onto the green. Make sure to push them down after putting them on so that looping the blacks won't be that hard. And yeah, now we come to where we're going to use the second black one that you put on by this orange. So just pick it up and place it on here. Then put your hook through all of these rubber bands except this one. Grab, except this one, and then grab this right here, this band, and then this. Pull it over to here. Make sure that you grab the right one, and then, yeah, I have, um, stick this in, pull it out, put it on, stick it in, pull it Put it on. Here it shouldn't be that hard. And just grab this orange one again. Then now we're going to do a slip knot up here. Just put those two on to it. And then down here we're going to make one too. So just grab this one over two. And grab these two, slip one of them over, 
Or you can just grab the bottom one and put it over. Yeah, so. This is how your ring is supposed to look like now. Colorful-ish. And then now, we're gonna grab a C-clip, or an S-clip, or a D-clip, or a whatever kind of clip you have. O-clip, I don't know, paper clip. Whatever clip you want, I'm gonna just take them on, just like by these. And then put it on whichever finger you'd like. So, there we go. I also made a different video for this kind. So, this is my first time making this and it looks pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Kelex channel. Like our videos and bye.